It's a good weapon to go for after fire axe. Uh, fire axe is pretty good for a pretty long time. Unless you're hitting museums and antique stores and mansions for medieval weaponry. There's not too many things better than uh, the good old fire axe for quite a bit. Both for its utility as a weapon and as a tool for its prying ability. It's, it's a two-in-one bonus. Just make sure you keep like a combat knife on you. That way you have a backup that you can switch to if somebody grabs your fire axe or something happens to it. But uh, yeah, you pretty much have to move up to like medieval weaponry. So either find or craft in order to get something that's going to be better than a, a fire axe. Also depends on if you're running any martial arts, so. Um, get rid of who's. And we got a pupating zombie in the area. Great, just what I needed. Yeah, I am so loath to leave. I think I might have to. Now that I have the crowbar, I can go straight for the baseball bat, put the combat knife back in the sheath. Uh, make another attempt. Just taking so many hits from the stupid rocks. Um, I didn't, I couldn't tell if the, uh, the enemies that were inside here, if they all followed me out. I know the one guy did, but I'm not sure if the ferals got across here or followed my scent trail out. If they did, I might have an option to go back in. I'm going to give it one more try. One more look. While I've still got the movement rate bonus. Really? I, I physically hear it in the real world, but I don't get a sound indicator on my screen anywhere? <laughs> okay. Oh, hey there, bar guest. Well, that changes things quite a bit. Yeah, huge swollen zombie dog, smeared black with slime. Teeth are longer, and its broad back is rippling with muscles and oozing wounds. Yeah, when did you show up? Um, <laughs> crap. Crappity crap. That changes things. That one's actually scary. We're just going to sprint all the way over. That's where we can't deal with. Next thing I want to do is get a look down the street here. See if there's any chance... Uh, the car alignment is a little tricky. I could make it through there. <laughs> this loot devourer. I th it's feeling like the eight times evolution might be kicking in. <laughs> Brutes, this loot devourers, bar guests. Hmm. Yeah, there's medical horrors there. What the hell? Why does he look like a brute? I thought that was a brute. 
Why is that the medical horror one? The Oh, I guess, yeah, this bulging corpse dressed like a medical professional, its entire body bulges with distended muscles and swollen, festering wounds. I believe it's medical because it has a chance to drop medical items. But otherwise, it's probably a brute. So, I really, really want to get into that place sooner rather than later. Oh, man. And intersection is still pretty full. <laughs> what to do, what to do. Yeah, that's the danger with this particular challenge, is that eight times evolution speed. Time is not my friend. Just sitting around reading books and healing constantly is going to get me behind the power curve very quickly. Oh, we're going over there. We're going over there. Hunting supply store at the outer edge of town with a house next to it. And a guaranteed known side facing, so... If I can get into this house and take down this wall right here with the home wrecker I no longer have. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, uh, that Mego Tower is too far north to really be too much of a concern. He says uh, right before he gets shot to death or eaten by Amigo. That means I have to put together another home wrecker. Zombies. Harder to find good uh, loot opportunities in the dark than when I'm tooling around in the daylight. Oopsie. The large worm dies! Ah, oh, worm tried to sneak up on me. There could be more. Waiting to see if I see worm sign coming up, coming north. Worms would be bad. A Saiga. Saiga 12 with 5 out of 10 shots. Wow, that's pretty good. I'm not going to be doing shotguns this run, though. How many items here? Kitchen's almost completely empty. It's kind of a weirdly appointed house. Hot corn casserole. 301, whoa. Eight servings at 301. 
0.25 liters. That's pretty good. We'll grab some hot corn casserole. Whoops. Oh, it's one of those. <laughs> All right, we'll just pound down as many as we can then. That's all we're going to get. More butter and cheese. Love the butter and cheese. We got stairs. Don't need a hot plate. Uh, none of that. Travel pack. Clean travel pack. Hmm. 19 inch max, 25 for the main pack. I'm going to say no. D&D character sheet. I'm going to go with uh, Cleric. It is Sorcerer. I guessed wrong. Survival under atomic attack. Terrible book to read. But it's got some pretty fun, uh, pretty fun recipes. Pretty good books for us. I don't remember. Does this one have a shed? Uh oh. Our storage to one thirty and one oh seven. particularly like this house for a let's stick around something's making noise a zombie child show up on my menu real quick uh oh it's more worm sign <laughs> I'm worried about worms hate the worms all right let's go across the other way we'll see if uh, those houses near the hunting supply store are viable. That's not good. Pupating crawler right off the bat. zombies that way and a runner right there damn it so close so building I want's there but I need to find a spot where I can uh, uh, there's usually a pretty good zombie presence out in front of this and the number of houses here there's probably gonna be zombies back here as well there is a back door I do have an acetylene torch if I can get to the back door I can torch my way in It'd be a lot quieter we might be able to pull that off. I'm going to try to pull this runner away. We can get back to this house cleanly, and it looks like I can get to the back door of the hunting supply store with the uh, the torch. 
We'll uh, we'll do that. So, come, come. Oh crap! That's the runner going into the building. Headless horror. No, I think something else made the noise. Unless he just smacked a window on his way through. I guess he must have. Nope, there's somebody else in the building. Eh, I probably should have killed the runner from the uh, the vehicle. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let go of the controls. Alright, buddy, you want in? Come on in. Missed. One hit. We did not get a uh, stun. Need one more good solid hit. Ah, oh, come on. Anyway. Ah, crap. Well, that's not good. Headless Horror knows I'm here, huh? Doesn't say he does, but he's he's moving towards the vehicle for a reason. Alright, now it's too much. <laughs> Got another runner. Problem is they can't see me, so I have to get close enough for them to hear the vehicle, then turn away, then hope they come towards me. Wonder if I can just drive right up to the behind behind that thing. Maybe we'll try that. One zombie there, one car that's going to be in the way. Can I scooch? One, two, three, four. I lined up perfectly. One, two, three, four. We can scooch our way through there. Not hit uh, the light post, that, or the vehicle. We'd also be in line to stay away from that. So I just need to get to right about here, then get my torch, get it loaded, get the goggles, torch the door, and get in and out. But I need to do it with a minimum of things following me over there. Once they start stacking up behind me, then it gets dicey. So I'll have almost no maneuvering room. All right, we are lined up. We are lined up. No sense in going slow. Kitty cat! Give me the torch. Reload the torch. I only need one. Give me the goggles. Eight the torch. All right. Please, please, please have goggles. Binoculars, but no goggles. We got one more, two more rows of stuff to check. Not looking good. Give me goggles! Unload flashlight, reload light amp goggles. Wear light amp goggles. Activate light amp goggles. Alright, I need to get out of here, like right now. <laughs> That's gonna draw too much attention. I need to make sure I get out the back before things go horribly wrong. Any long rifle cases? Double, standard, standard, uh, standard. I'm gonna say no to that stuff. The ammo I don't really need, and shotguns I don't really. 
30 carbon fiber hunting arrows. There you go. That's what you're looking for when you're doing a hunting or a, a bow run. Compound hunting bow and 30 of the best arrows in the game. And this is at a 0.5 item drop rate. This is pretty good. I am on point. Or, no, I think I'm on default. I'm on default, right? Yeah, I'm on default for this one. All right. So, yeah, that's a good number. So, two reasons to show up. All right. I, uh... Nothing showing up yet. All right. We'll, we'll check the crates. Very rarely get anything I care about here in the crates. Yeah, I don't care about it. Nah. Well, this changes things up. Cool. That was much easier than trying to uh, do the home record through the wall. So the other option that uh, I sometimes have to do if I don't have the torch is I will uh, smash through the wall right about here. So these types of walls you can actually break through, take a home wrecker and have, I'm not sure the minimum strength you can do it with, but I'm pretty sure I've done it with eight strength and a home wrecker. Sometimes it just takes a bunch of swings to get a high enough roll, but uh, you can just put a hole right through the wall and then walk in and check for your goggles, and check for your shotguns and ARs and such. So that is a really big improvement. That's gonna help out tremendously. So, oh, goodbye torch. Goodbye goggles. Is that going to be enough for me to make the trip back <laughs> where we just came from? I've about doubled my vision range. We had five, four, because I stupidly had the sunglasses on. But one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. We've gained, uh, we're out to nine now. That's enough for me usually to be able to see what's coming and maneuver around it before they detect me. Far nothing's come at me. I think I might take a look at these houses real quick before I take off. Well, hi there. Screwdriver set. I'll take the set. Drop the standard screwdriver. Night fighters nipples. They're in the house. Ooh, no thanks. It's time to leave. Okay, well that went awesome. So, back to the question. Do I feel comfortable enough to go make one more attempt at the mansion now that we've got the light amp? When is my car going to run out of gas? We should be good. We had 20, uh, maybe 30 or so a while back. So yeah, we're still at 22. No problem. Gasoline's easy to come by. Um, yeah, let's go, let's go reevaluate. Let's take another look. I so want to clear that thing out before I drive off and get busy doing other stuff. Like I said, I just need to get in enough to, um, or get a, get in and get enough time to get the plate mail on. If I can get the plate mail on, 
very little of what was showing up would have been able to do any damage. The uh, the muscle dog could have, the brute could have, those with the super punch. So, pupating still hanging out over here. About, whoops, and there's a crowd there chasing a fox. Might have to go in from a different different angle this time. There's a lot of bad guys over there. So if I leave the vehicle, head in this way, and then come out. head in here, house to house to maintain my ability to maneuver, then try to cut across the street to get to the, uh, the museum. Let's give it a try. So, take a weapon with me, or not. I think I'm gonna say no. And I'll use the combat knife if I have to. We've got the crowbar to pry those back doors open. But it's pretty much all about not getting detected. Zapper Zombie. Not worried about him. Preference would be to have nothing follow me in. Just a little too densely packed for me to be confident to move through. They're going to catch my scent cloud. Like that one just did. I love this line of zombies to my south. Soldier zombie. Alright, can I get in under these guys? Now the soldier's following my scent. Forgot to leave my baseball bat. Cancelled the drop and then forgot to drop it again. Yeah, you can repair a crowbar. You don't need to if you're just using it to pry things, but... It is repairable. I should say on the item what it's repaired with. If you look down here a bit... Uh... Usually it says. Yeah, extended tool set, arc welder, makeshift arc welder. Need a welder, basically. Hmm. Looking like if I try to come up and through the houses, I'm going to run into the same problem with the uh, where these are located. I know there's a fairly heavy presence down here, especially that muscle dog I don't want to run into. Guess I could try to pull them into the house and then circle back around to free up the space I need.
Well, hi there, iBot. An iBot would be very helpful. Um... Hey, iBot, I need you out in the middle of the street. <laughs> Not hovering around back here. Squirrels. Can't believe I'm walking into the park. That is uh, totally contradictory. Sandbox kit. <laughs> All the kids take their shoes off before going to play in the uh, the sand. That's kind of funny. I hadn't thought about that. Volleyball. Ah, now I've ended up with a ring again. <laughs> I just can't seem to get through these things. All right, might be time to do the same thing I did last time, which was uh, flip the light on, let everything here see me and come towards me, and then retreat back through this building. I'm just not sure I can loop back around successfully. Fighting at 25 encumbrance now, which is much better than what we were. But I really don't want to take any damage or use up any stamina. The other possibility is I flip the light on and I end up attracting zombies from up here down to me, which clutters the area up even more. What to do, what to do. Really wish that iBot wasn't hanging back in that other area. If I can get in with oh, even just one or two, of course they're got to be hanging out right at the entrance. Damn you, zombies! Damn you! <laughs> Um, zombies don't respond to light. Zombies respond to you being lit. So if I just pop off my my uh, my light and it lights me up, then they'll all come to where they see me. They won't respond just to light on its own, like tossing a flashlight or anything goofy like that. But if they see you lit up, then they come directly towards you. So the idea is that I would turn the light on so they could all see me turn the light off again, then maneuver into the house, they would all congregate here where they last saw me, then start following my scent trail, which would slow them down a bit. I would lose them in the house and then circle around while they all streamed up that direction. <clears throat> so it's a way of, if you do it right and at the right times and under the right circumstances, it's a very effective way of moving zombies around. But you gotta be careful and you gotta get some practice at doing it, knowing when it's helpful versus hurtful. Um, it was looking good right up until I saw those two sitting there. You guys full strength? Full strength. Can I pull you away? So similar to the light trick, I'm just trying to pull them out of position. So I can hopefully get reoriented back over there. I'm not sure why they keep running back to that spot. All right, we made it inside. Now the problem is I got to make noise breaking these windows to get to the goodies. So I want pretty much none of that. Maybe the bar boot. Can't remember which of the helmets that I like. Maybe the bar boot. There's the full plate armor fitted. That's the main thing I'd like to get on. I might have to take some gear off in order to get it on. Then it's going to slow me down and, and, and make my to-hit rolls a lot worse, but we're going to be fairly immune to the low-level damage, so it's only the specialty enemies that I have to really worry about. 
and getting ganged up on and dropping stamina to zero. So do I do that before I set the alarm off? Yeah. There goes the alarm. So now we're going to have a bunch of guys pouring in here probably. <laughs> I'm going to assume I can't fit that in. Holy crap, it fits in the bag. How the hell does that fit in the bag? You're kidding me. <laughs> That's hilarious. Plate armor fits in my leather backpack. Who would have thunk? Hey there, plate armor. Ten inches long, huh? <laughs> we folding that thing a bunch of times, are we? Okay. So, not totally immune, by the way. 95% coverage, so I would still get killed eventually as their hits bypass. Plus, it's only torso, arms, and legs. I'm happy not to put it on at the moment, though. So we got the armor in the bag. That's I find that hilarious. So we got gloves, and that's what, the feet? Yeah, that's the gloves and the feet. So we got the hands and the feet for the chainmail. There's the legs and the sleeves. So I think the only thing we're missing is the chest. There's the feet again. Yeah, there's no uh, no chest piece. All right, that was oh yeah, the medieval weapon, which I do want to look at. It makes more noise. So this is uh, bronze. It's bronze. 24 cut 8 bash at 107 with high block. Hmm, no to hit bonus. Chances I'll get a martial art that uses that are pretty small. I don't think it's good enough with its other stats to be worth taking. Hey there, home wrecker. Pointy stick. There's somebody in the bathroom? Really? Or is that noise from back here? Somebody banging on the wall. Well, not locked. Alright, my last opportunity for good stuff. A katana. <laughs> Come on, please. Please. Steel and aluminum. A dull, cheaply made replica. That's the worst one. Bash 9, cut 1. That's the absolute worst version of Katana. Nothing. Leather armor boots. Armored boots. A wakizashi. And that's my last option, the wakizashi. It is budget steel. Damn it. Oh well. This is a terrible museum. It's all fakes. It's all fakes. Well, that's unfortunate. We had a pretty good number of opportunities and we failed on all of them. All right, so we got the Gothic plate armor. Uh, I forget what else was there. Oh yeah, the Zweihander, I'm not using a glaive. But we still have a possibility on the Zweihander. Budget steel. Jesus. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, 32 bash, 9 cut with a plus 1. Uh, nah, I'm not going to bother. It's not repairable. It's going to bend quite quickly. It's too heavy. Too slow. Don't don't have any interest in a glaive. Yep, that's it. Alright, now let's just get out of here with our with our plate armor. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag the cannon out with me, right? I gotta take the cannon. Alright, don't be a grabber. Hey! I told you don't be a grabber. You 
gimpy grabber grabber. Alright, now we just have to thread our way through rock throwers. Anything else here? Mm, nothing else in the local area I care about. Not going to try to push farther in that way. Yeah, I think we're good. All right. Yay. At least we got the plate armor out, and uh, I can stop fiddling with this location. And I'm faster than these guys. Speed right on through there. Bad dogs. Bad dogs. Whoops. Hey there, Mr. Brute. Um... Bring you south a bit. Make sure we get some more distance to my vehicle so I can do a sprint back to my vehicle. He won't get there. Okay, so, finally got that stuff done so hunting supply store is done the museum is done nothing else I'm gonna try to get to up here so time to head back south um, it is 1 30 I flip flop my day night cycle so I think we're gonna go ahead and take all the way down and take a look at the mansion see which mansion layout we've got poke our headlights hopefully into the front entry and see if we've got an opportunity for more medieval gear I may not run it this evening. It'd probably be a good idea to do some healing before I try to clear it or, or grab anything out of it. Uh, let's turn these off for now. But we got lightning goggles. We got the uh, gothic plate armor. Got the crowbar. So we filled in a few other important needs. There were zombie cows at the dairy farm, so we're not going to be able to gas up there. But there was also a gas station not too far back along the path we took. So we'll just avoid this. No sense getting killed by a herd of zombie cows. We can get close enough. Theoretically, this is the front. Normally, the brighter M is the front entryway, but I've had several occasions where I've found mansions where that wasn't the case for whatever reason. So, that is the front entrance right there, so that's good. Need to get lined up properly so we can see into the corners where the dummies are usually located. Or display cases. Uh-oh. What do we got? Overwatch, signet ring, and a radio car box. Can't quite see that one. The one to the north does not have anything. So this is an example of zombies not being attracted to light. So that zombie can't see me because I am back behind the light source and I'm not being lit up myself. It's very dark in the driver's seat. So... They're not attracted to light. Now, if I flipped on my own light and became visible, or turned on the, the dome light, for example, then as soon as I was lit up, that zombie would come charging this direction. Come on, trying to get a view here. I can't quite get the view to line up properly. I need... I just need to get closer, I think. There we go. Nothing at that one. I think there's one here as well because we got two here and I think two here so I just need to get the angles right display case is full of junk can't quite see these two properly. Oh, 
weird angles I gotta get to get that light in there. Keep seeing one, but not another. Alright, I'm just gonna walk in. <laughs> so far, there's just this one zombie. Take the low road. Nothing there. Multiple zombies in the entry with me. Alright, so we're on the kitchen side. Uh-oh, got my scent cloud. We're up. Don't care. More zombies. Hoping to work my way around to check the other, other two up here. What a difference the uh, light amp goggles make. All right, nothing in the displays, nothing on the mannequins. So we've got upstairs as a potential. The front area of the upstairs will sometimes have them, but I've seen a few mansions, not this style. The one I checked earlier today, they made changes to the mansions. You want to be really careful now with mansions. Um, there's a scenario, a new scenario, Mansion Escape. And they've added some uh, fun enemies that uh, could be a big problem. So just be, be, be careful. See, there's another mannequin potential right there. Or another armor potential, that mannequin. Whoops. Hey, shady zombie. <laughs> Haven't seen one of you guys in a while. Uh, accidentally whacked him in the face while I'm trying to walk. Um, I'm gonna back off. Add shape. I'm gonna try the upstairs. I think it has a higher potential. Damn it! Nothing again. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Maybe I'll try to... I'll, I'll drive around it. We'll see if we can find the library. I might jump into the library real quick. Primary points do not have anything for us. Oops. I just rammed into a crate. <laughs> you know, one of the airdrop crates. That's hilarious. What was in the crate? Did I run over the contents? C4? <laughs> That stuff's perfectly safe to drive over in a vehicle. No problem. Just don't don't apply an electrical charge to it. <laughs> uh, so that's kind of funny. Uh, is that a scooter outside the mansion? Oh, another cannon. Where the why the hell are we scattering cannons all over the place? MRE. Whoops. I got the I got the plate mail in my backpack still. Pants! Army pants, poor fit. That's fine. We'll, we'll wear them. Goodbye, red jeans. I should go dump this armor. Where'd you go, plate armor? Whoops! <laughs> I got snuck up on again by the shady. Uh, 
Bastard shady zombie. Uh, I guess I won't go get that C4. There's very few situations where I would actually use it anyway. Alright. Hopefully he did not just hop into my vehicle while I was turning. That would be pretty embarrassing. Don't think that's the library in that corner. statue USMC sword manual procedure Shadies, man, it's been forever since I really had to deal much with shady zombies. I miss them. Boots, a log, a smartphone, a fencing a pay. No thanks. Oh, it is the library. Cool. Uh, nothing I care about. Chemistry for kids. We need that. That's a good one. Caught my scent. Uh, robots for fun and profit. I have no idea what that one might be. Alright, come on, follow me. Mm, nope, don't care about any of those. All right, so we got some really good books. That is helpful. Um, I think I'm gonna peek upstairs before we take off. Peek upstairs on this backside. Till I get encountered. Tram it all. We're doing pretty good on uh, painkillers. I'd like to get another decent supply of bandages. A cutlass, maybe. Hmm, good old spiral stone. Oops, where's the cutlass? It is aluminum, another replica. So many replicas. Um. Baseball bats, we're good. We got the one, we got a backup. Hey, zombie. Over here. Oof, we didn't get any stun. Missed on the second. There we go. Uh, no thanks. Bandages. Ask and you shall receive. Keep keep explaining to you guys how easy this game is. You just mention what you need and uh, it, it shows up. Amazing. Take some Prussian blue. We might end up radiated a little later in the run. All right, so we're back up to the front of the building.
Take another leather backpack. Elys. We've already got uh, rollerblades. Whoops. I don't want to fight him. We've got the fat zombie back behind me. Bring him this way instead. getting anything's attention in there. Lots of stairs. Uh, sure. Where am I? Holy symbol. Rings. What I'm looking for. Not good. Um... I was gonna go downstairs, but now I'm not sure I should. Yeah. Um. No. I think that's all the fiddling I'm gonna do <clears throat> with the mansion. We came out of it pretty well. We got some really good books. How's our storage doing? 160 and 114. And we're in the yellow on the leg. Whoops. You failed me, adhesive bandage. All right, so we're done with the primary things I was looking for. I'm not going to do anything with the helipad. We come south. We've got a couple of endpoints, but we'd have to loop back north because we can't directly come across here because there's this river coming through. Oh, this is one of those rare river endpoints. <laughs> I almost never see endpoints for rivers. Usually they're just infinite rivers that just keep going. But yeah, that'll block us because that goes, I'm pretty sure, all the way down here. Possibly it ends somewhere sooner. Um, we've still got that lab over here. Gas station down here. And we left that APC <laughs> way back here with my M2. I think we can get back to that by coming down through this way and then connecting over. So... Basically, it comes down to, do I think checking this area is going to be worth the trip? Wait for morning, check for radio towers. Yeah, I don't have anything mapped. My maps ran out, so I don't have any maps going further west. So there could be radio towers near. It'd help if I was upstairs when the sun came up. I could try to get back upstairs to a safe-ish bedroom uh, somewhere and uh, spend the night. But it's probably more dangerous than it's worth without me clearing things. We're starting to see uh, a fair amount of upgraded zombies, even on... Uh, we just hit day three. No, we're not quite. Six more hours will be at uh, the end of the second day. 
That's the thing I'm most scared of, is the eight times evolution speed. And it's going to take me quite a bit of time to get through these hefty books. And the crafting portion. But I'm not sure how many things I need to get or accomplish before I sit down somewhere and start going through that stuff and let evolution just go crazy. We got plate armor, not my, my, my favorite. Fitted chain is always my favorite. Full suit of fitted chain. Um, the plate will help, but we don't have a medieval weapon yet. We're still running around with bats. We do have the rifle, and as soon as we head to this lab, we'll be able to get all the ammo we need. We'll torch the door and then toss a grenade in to kill the turret. That'll give us 1,600 rounds of uh, ammo for the rifle, so we won't have any ammo problems. What do they think the chances are this will be a, uh, an ice lab? <laughs> Get a super freeze lab. So, I don't see anything else I'm really focused on right now. The lab is the big thing. The lab and the uh, the APC. We haven't seen a single Humvee. I don't think I've, in all the driving we've done, I don't think I've seen even a wrecked Humvee yet. Yeah, Portal Storm would be nice. Portal Storm would be cool. I'm still waiting to see a Portal Storm. We haven't yet had the pleasure. And I still don't know whether being inside of a vehicle protects you from a portal storm. Alright, let's turn this off. <laughs> Chances of Ice Lab high. <laughs> I do not disagree with you. I think my plan will probably be, like I said, we'll uh, we'll go ahead and take the trip. I'll, I'll come down and I'll check these. Then, well, I gotta wait for daylight though. I, I hate exploring the map in the night. Two o'clock. Yeah, we'll, we'll go off somewhere in the field and I'll just read while we wait for the daylight. And then we'll uh, we'll do some initial scouting and then either head over to the lab or sleep the day away or whatever. That'll be the plan, I think. But, unfortunately, that'll have to be the plan for Monday. So we've, we've hit my, my end point. I, I've run out of time. So, we'll put a save in right there and uh, call it for the evening. Thanks very much, everybody, for hanging out, watching some more Cataclysm. Uh, we'll get some, we're getting some juicy stuff. I got to fight a shady zombie, and we're starting to see some of the fun stuff. That that evolution is going to catch up to me, and I'm feeling like I'm behind the curve still. We've covered a lot of the basic gear that I need, but I think we're gonna run into a problem pretty quickly with the amount of uh, high level enemies are gonna start showing up. So we shall see. Let me check to see if I've got anybody on I can uh, toss you guys towards. Uh, not at the moment. So, thanks again. Have a great evening. Stay safe out there.